Good afternoon, friends. Today we're going to be doing a very simple science experiment that you can do with things that you have at home. There's no need to go out and buy anything. You don't need to go to the store and buy a bunch of crazy stuff. You can do it with things that you have right at home. So some things that we're going to need for this science experiment is you're going to need a jar with a lid. You're probably going to want a very clear jar that way you're able to see what happens inside. You're going to need dish soap. It does not matter what kind of dish soap you have. Any dish soap that you have at home will do just fine. And you're also going to need water. So right now I just have a cup of water that I'm gonna pour into my jar for easy purposes, but you can always just get water from the sink. You don't need to have a cup of water to pour into your jar. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be making a tornado in a jar. Now, we've been talking about tornadoes for a couple weeks and how they are formed, but this is a simple little way just to see kind of how a tornado looks. Um, it's kind of just like a mock experiment of a tornado, so you get a little glance at what one would look like, um, but we'll be making it with water and soap. So, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to make sure your jar is very clear, there's nothing in it, and you're going to take your water and you're going to pour it into your jar. So when you pour it into your jar, you want to make sure you leave a little bit of space because you're going to shake it around and you don't want the water like spilling everywhere. You will have the lid on it, but still you don't want to have a full jar. So then what you're going to do next is you're going to have your jar and you're going to squirt some dish soap into it. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't need to go crazy with the dish soap. A little bit will do just fine. So what you're going to want to do after that is you're going to want to cap your jar. And I just like to make sure that my cap is on nice and tight. That way it doesn't come off. That way it doesn't pop off. That way you're not spilling water everywhere or getting soap all over the floor. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you have your jar and you have your soap in your jar and your water in your jar. Now, you're going to have to shake your jar to get the tornado. But in order to do that, you're not going to shake it like this. That's just going to make your water really bubbly and soapy. As you can see, my lid is not on all the way because stuff is leaking, so we're gonna tighten that. Make sure no water's coming out, okay. So now you have your, your jar with your soap and your water. And remember, we don't wanna shake it up and down, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start twirling it like this. If you can see, a tornado is starting to form. It's kind of going away now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a little bit more and you can keep doing this in a circular motion to get your tornado to come out. Can you see it in there? My water might be a little soapy from me shaking it that first time, but you just wanna make sure that when you shake it, it goes in a circular motion. And then you'll have your tornado in a jar and you can see it very clearly and when you do it, you'll see, it's kind of hard to see, but you see the base of your tornado and it moves down to the point of the tornado that's supposed to touch the ground. Now, do we remember what those are called? If you do, make sure to leave a comment under the video of what the parts of a tornado are. You can also talk about what forms a tornado. Um, this is just a simple way for you to do this at home. You can do it with your parent. You can do it by yourself. It's not a really difficult experiment. Um, but yeah, I, I hope this video makes sense to you. And if you have any questions, you can call or text my phone. Not text my phone. <laughs> if you have any questions, you can have your mom or dad send me an email and I will totally answer them. Or you can ask me in class tomorrow. Thank you very much. I hope you had fun enjoying watching this experiment and I really, really hope that you try it at home.